Huckleberry. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Did you have a good time? We are mission accomplished with our little break. Uh, we got caught up on some work that we needed to do. I do have uh, online work that I do to help support us. And of course we had to edit photos and videos and get some stories ready to get out to you. So um, that was a good couple days being stopped. A couple of rainy days. A couple of rainy days. We didn't want to ruin our trip to the Outer Banks with having a whole bunch of rain out there. So we camped in this national forest. It was spectacular. Um, I would come back here again just yeah, to come back nice. here if we nice were in the area. Quiet. So we're going to head out to the Outer Banks and stop at our favorite place, Old Wally World. Got to pick up some stuff. And then uh, we'll be out at Outer Banks tonight and tomorrow. And then we'll be making our way to Assateague. Don't say that ten times fast. Wild horses. Don't, don't, or wild ponies, I don't should know. I say. Because they are ponies. Well, you're the horse person. <laughs> So let's go. Let's go. What are you barking at? Huck, you have something to say? Yes. What are you trying to say? Timmy's in the well? <laughs> got to the campground and it's flooded our campsite is flooded most sites are flooded um, but I just talked with the ranger and he gave us a list of sites that are available that he said we're more than welcome to go to so we're gonna go try to find a place where we can camp and um, yeah we're just here for a night but we were wondering why it was so open when we went in to reserve a site today and maybe other people knew a little better than we knew Bad. You hold on to that. We found our new campsite and we're going to run into Hatteras and go run around town and see some things out there and then we'll come back closer to sunset. We got the lighthouse over there. We're going to try to get at sunset pictures. If not, we'll catch it in the morning. For now, we're just going to cruise around and look for fun things to do because we are in the Outer Banks down in the very southern part where you can drive without having to take a ferry. Because I think we'd sink a ferry. Wouldn't we sink a ferry? Yes. I think we'd be way too heavy. It would cost a lot of money. To go Shh. On it. Are you 
calling me fat. Yes. She's calling me fat. Ow! Don't paw at me. Don't paw at me. We are at the very end of Hatteras Island and it smells like salt water. Smells amazing. Obviously, when you come to the Outer Banks, you're coming for the beach. You can come to fish too. We've seen a ton of people with surf fishing gear and uh, the ocean is calm right now. Surfing's good out here at times. There was just a huge storm that passed through the last couple days, dumped a ton of water. So it's all over the roads out here. And uh, now it looks like it's really, really calm, which is nice. We're seeing a different side of the Outer Banks. We are at the Nature Center and we are going to go on the marsh walk, the boardwalk. Let's go check it out. It is short but sweet and this is a great place to launch your kayak or your paddleboard. So this is a great little access for that, nice and low. This definitely would be a fun place to Are you uh, disappointed? Kayak. I'm a little disappointed that it's very short. I expected it to be longer. You can see the <laughs> truck right there. <laughs> We are at the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, world famous of course. Tallest lighthouse in North America. Just kidding, on the East Coast. I think it said North America. I mean, it could be wrong, but. This is free to visit as well. So lots of free stuff to do out here in the Outer Banks. You'd be surprised because there's a lot of ways to spend a lot of money as well, but this is a free one. Coming to the lighthouse at Cape Hatteras is like meeting a, a celebrity. It's like meeting Michael Jordan or Abraham Lincoln. There it is. Or as Kamala Harris said today, it's like meeting the most famous rapper alive, Tupac. I like Tupac, but he's not alive. Well, he is alive, but that's a conspiracy that I've bought into. I don't know how you feel about that. I think he's on an island somewhere enjoying life. Well, we've made it to our new campsite here at Cape Point Campground on Hatteras or uh, just outside of Hatteras and actually in Buxton. And uh, so we are gonna settle down for the night. Today we kind of scouted out a little bit of what we're gonna go back and do tomorrow. It's gonna be a full day, action-packed, one day in uh, the Outer Banks itinerary. Uh, it's gonna start with something really cool we'll show you in the morning. And we will finish up outside of the Outer Banks on the, um, I guess, northern part of North Carolina. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get ready for the night. Um, get our coffee set up to make in the morning and uh, so we can just get up and get started with the morning. We're going to do that before the sun rises starting at 6.30 is our first stop so we are looking forward to it. Hope you are as well. See you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're late. We're getting off to a little bit of a late start. 
for the day, but we're gonna get it done. You gonna do that thing? Yeah, go do that thing. Let's go do that thing. Ever you wanna go do that Everest thing? Is still in bed. <laughs> Are you gonna make the bed today? Is your turn to make the bed? Whose turn is it to make the bed? Is it your turn to make the bed? No, never. I don't make the bed. Do you make the bed? No. Oh, we have exciting plans today. Starting with. We can, if you keep standing there, we can't go. Let's go. We are at the Orange Blossom Cafe. I know, I know, I know. We stated that we were going to eat healthy, but we heard of this place and we just cannot stop. We have to stop. So they're, they're known for their amazing apple fritters. They call them apple uglies. So let's go check it out. Well, we've got our breakfast for this morning and now we have a really special place to eat it because we are going to go take the ferry to Ocracoke and it is a car ferry. It's actually big enough to put the truck camper on. We found that out yesterday so we are excited. It's also free so it's another reason why we're going to do it and we're going to show you how to do it. It's super easy. It's going to be awesome and we're going to go see another little island uh, that you can't, you have to take a ferry to get there. There's no other way to get there. So it's going to be awesome. Ferry ride. I didn't bring my drama mean, Lindsay. What if I get sick? Oh no. Well, it looks kind of rough out there. It you looks, might get sick. It looks hellacious for the Outer Banks. It is beautiful out there today. Nice and flat. We're going to have an awesome ferry ride. It's about an hour long. Maybe a little shorter. We'll see. But it's going to be awesome. We love boat rides. Boat rides are great. I'm excited. So. You know what I'm excited about? Breakfast. Oh, yes. We haven't eaten yet, so. Breakfast. We're gonna. We're officially on board for the ride.
<laughs> no, it does. It does look like a bite was taken out. Oh, you already ate it. You are. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> when did you do that? You gave me one with a bite That's in it. That's mean because I haven't had any. <laughs> I haven't had any. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It's huge. As the president would say, huge. huge. Bite. Oh my gosh, it's full of apples. I was not expecting that. I'm good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna be wearing this one all day. We have arrived at Oracoke, Oracoke, Oracook, or or Orca Cook. Ochre Coke. Oak We're at Ochre Coke. We're gonna go explore. It's a little island, shouldn't take us long. lighthouse we are kind of surprised at how big this island is uh, where the ferry drops you off it's all the way at the end and you have to drive quite a ways to get to the city but it's a nice pretty drive um, you can stop and see the beach you can stop and see the pony pen which we didn't do I was tempted but <laughs> but, we are. but I'm the driver <laughs> so I didn't stop <laughs> but we decided we wanted to come see the lighthouse here so here we are. It's cute. It's a cute lighthouse. Different than all the other ones. It's got a fat bottom. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I didn't want to be mean and call it fat. Queen it's seems cute. about fat, fat bottom girls. <laughs> fat bottom lighthouse. And I've noticed all the lighthouses here I have these cute little white houses in the yards with them. I think it's cool. Cute. There's a lot of lighthouses out here. There are. I like it. <laughs> well, lady, it's that time again. Getting back on the ferry. Getting on the ferry. After going to Okra Coke and just driving around for, I guess, about an hour or so. Stopped by the lighthouse, drove through town, lots of little shops. It is small. It's 13 miles from the, where the ferry drops you off. Um, but once you get into town, everybody was walking, biking. Yeah, it's cute. Cute, very nice little community. Lots of little boutique shops. Mm -hmm. You can rent golf carts to get around because there's really... There's, I mean, it's, it's everything's really close together. Mm -hmm. Obviously, fishing is big here, water sports, lots of people with kayaks, stand up paddle boards. Um, there's even surf here, so depending on, you know, when, obviously, can't make waves out of nothing, but um, there's lots of water sports to do here. So it's a cool, was a cool little stop for us. Total surprise, I think. Oh, yeah, it was totally unplanned. And yesterday we pulled up to the ferry and I'm like, oh, look, we can ferry somewhere. And then Lindsay found out it was free, and I'm like, I like free. Yeah. Even if it's just a one hour ride and a one hour ride back, I like free ferry rides. Mm -hmm. We got free two nice. hour ferry ride. That's nice. Well, free one hour. We got to survive this one. Yeah. We might sink. We might. You calling me fat again? Yeah. <sighs> she does it all the time. I did eat that apple, apple ball. Thing was huge. What do you call it? Uh, apple ugly. Apple ugly. I so ate good. it. good. And it is now inside of my stomach and it's sticking out like a child, like a bowling ball, because that's about the size it was. 
So we're going to go ahead and get on the ferry and we will report back on the other side when we get back to Hatteras. We got a busy day. First stop will be right when we get off the ferry and then we're going to be doing some driving and stopping and driving and stopping. It is about 100 miles from the very bottom, the southern part of Hatteras, all the way up to the very north part of the Outer Banks, uh, Corolla. And that's going to be where we uh, where we end our day today. So we're going to cover 100 miles, but we are going to take our time doing it and uh, make a full day of all the great things to see in Outer Banks. Mm -hmm.